For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world. So for God for God God so so loved the world. The world. God so loved the world. Okay, okay, we get it. Enough already. We've all heard this verse a million times. John 3:16. It shows up on bumper stickers, at baseball games, even under the eyes of some certain famous football players. It's like that song that you used to love until you heard it over and over and over. It's really easy to tune out something that you've heard too many times. It's why we ignore our coaches' cliché encouragements or our teachers' overused expressions. But sometimes the things that we ignore are actually the things we should pay the most attention to. Just because we've heard it a million times doesn't mean it's not important. So let's just take some time and refocus on John 3.16. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. There's a lot packed into that short verse. It's the gospel message, the good news of Jesus Christ. It describes how much God loves us and also the effects of our sin on the world and on our relationship with him. It tells us about Jesus' huge rescue mission to reconnect us with God and also what our lives should look like as we follow Jesus. Honestly, the world is just filled with static that's keeping you from focusing on what's really important. But John 3.16 shows us what it takes to cut through that noise, to live life to the fullest with God forever, to have life everlasting.